Good morning, everyone. My name is Vin Smith, and I'm a director at Environment Southland. And I'd like to welcome you all here to the tropical paradise of Southland. We've had some lovely weather over the last day or two, and people were actually commenting about the sunshine last night. And that is entirely typical of Southland. Hardly ever rains, very little wind, and uh, quite frankly, temperature ranges between about 20 and about 28 degrees. So this is the place to be. So if, you, if you're looking for new employment and such like, we've probably got opportunities for you down here. Come enjoy the tropical south. So I'll just go through some formalities for starters. Uh, in case of an emergency, earthquake, fire or such like, out these doors and through onto the car park and we all meet out there. Toilets and other types of facilities, just out this door and immediately to the right, both the male and female's toilets. So, Please, uh, if, in case of emergency, we'll just exit and make yourself comfortable through the day. So, information management. How do we get here today? For Environment Southland, it really started probably about, oh, well, at least 20 years ago when we started collecting data in some form or other. But what really hit home to me was about eight months ago, we had a LAWA request for water quality, and we had 15 different people sitting around a table, all having a conversation about how we were going to service that request. Everybody had a discrete little piece of data. It was squirrelled away in, all, in their discrete little places, and it very quickly determined that it wasn't joined up, that we were going to have difficulties, and it took an awful lot of work to actually service that data request. So we quickly decided we had to do better. We had to do better for ourselves, and we had to do better for the community. Because at the end of the day, our data is only good for the purpose that it was collected for, but also for our ability to actually provide that to the community in a form that makes sense to them and allows them to actually assist us with managing the resources that we're instructed or have control over. So in essence, we came to the conclusion that we had to do better. We had to work smarter, not continuously working harder. And that was the focus of our information management strategy, was how do we work smarter, not harder. So today, this conference workshop came about from a very good idea of a couple of staff, Neil Dijon and Jane uh, Carroll at Environment Southland, saying, we need to look at what the future looks like. What's happening now and what does the future look like? because we're actively looking at where all our data sources are, looking at how to manage those. But we also need to know what's happening there and what does the future look like so we can actually build a system in between that can store data, that can access data, that will allow QAing of data, can manage data and information, because it's both data and information, so that we can actually provide a better service to our communities. And that's where this came about. Neil did a heck of a lot of work around organising presenters and such like, and we decided, well, let's throw the door open. I'm sure someone else probably has problems with data as well, and clearly having 60, 70 people turn up today represents that we're not alone in this. We've all got challenges in data, and we all have to do better for our communities. And so hopefully today we will find out options around data and information management, We'll, look at, uh, we'll identify and manage, look at how we can manage the risks moving forward. We will look, that will also allow us to inform our annual plan processes because in Southland, our information management strategy doesn't have budget around it. So we're trying to do this on top of business as usual. We appreciate that business as usual isn't going to take us to the place that we need to be. So it's definitely going to help us start to scope out what we need to do and how we can fund that to actually provide the service that we know that is needed. But most importantly, the, from this meeting or conference, it's really what are the next steps? This is just the tip of the iceberg. This is recognising that we all have some problems, but we haven't come collectively together to say what is the solution moving forward. We have regional councils, we have district councils, we have unitary authorities. We have MFE, MPI, and all sorts of national bodies who actually w want our data as well. How can we come together to actually find the solution that works for local government, 
central government and the community. There has to be better ways of doing business. And that's the challenge for the end of the day, is what do those next steps look like? How do we move forward to find that solution that will provide us all better data, better information, and assist the community to decide what they need to do? So today we're very fortunate to have Colin Anderson here from Effectus, who's going to be the facilitator today, because Effectus is the key consultant in assisting us in our information management strategy. And Colin and his team have been doing a superb job for us with looking at our capabilities, looking at our strategic, developing a strategic plan, developing critical paths, identifying projects, and assisting us to take the first steps. And so Colin has, uh, is the managing director of Effectus. He has 28 years of experience in management, strategic planning, IT, governance. The list is extremely long, and I won't, and I'll leave Colin to actually explore that further. What is important to me is that Colin and his team are at the forefront of this for a number of councils and assisting us actively. And we've learned a lot from Colin and his team, and we've really appreciated their involvement. So hopefully today will run smoothly for you all and you'll get something out of it. And I really challenge you at the end of the day is to pose questions around where to from here. But just before I wrap up, most importantly for all of those people who are multitasking, you may want to know what the uh, local Wi-Fi uh, number is. And so if you go onto the Wi-Fi, um, it'll be Ascot Park Hotel, and the code is V A. 2-4-F-J. Got this here and I'll put it up there and so please feel free to grab it. But equally up on the counter as you came in, there is a bowl for business cards and there's going to be a draw for a competition. Jane informs me that no keys in there, it's not that type of competition. But So we'll leave it there and I'll now pass over to Colin. Thank you.